Howdy folks. Good day. I'm gonna make this one real short. Last night I finished both of those, the Chinese New Year trip and uh, yesterday's little uh, eating adventure in one night. I was up until like five o'clock in the morning. But uh, this one I'm gonna make real short. I wasn't even gonna do one, except for the case that uh, somebody's coming to pick up the cat. And I figured that would be a good story to kind of tie off so you guys could see the cat go on her way. Uh, Eva has rash all over her belly and her nose is really stuffy. I have a feeling this cat is causing some health problems with Annie and Eva, so it'll be nice to move her on her way. All right, Lily's owner has just arrived. I'm walking over to pick her up. Hopefully the two of them get along. She's a foreigner too, which is cool. Sina? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good, good. Good. How are you? good, good, good. Come, come, come. It's cold out here. I mean, my friend have a dog who just looks like this dog. Oh, okay. That's uh, the white one is Wawa, and the darker one is Hulabo. All right, well, here's your kitty. Why do you keep it in a cage? Because uh, we're allergic, so oh. <laughs> Actually, nice. it would be nicer if she could walk around, you know? Yeah. We've been kind of, it's been sad because she's so nice, but we can't. Yeah. We've been kind of trying to stay away, but she's really sweet. <laughs> they don't want the cage, which is okay. We can use the cage for something else. Hulabo, you're going in the cage. Come That's on, your punishment. So look at that look. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with the cat? Yeah, of course. Okay. Good cat. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the nails are trimmed. Everything should be ready to go. Cool, cool. Let me, uh, I'll walk you back out to the street because it's a little... She's like, you jerk. You're, s <laughs> you're sending me away. Please. Practically bang down your door and you're sending me away. You'll have much better time where you can roam free through a house. See you guys! <laughs> All right. They said that they're gonna send some pictures, so every so often I'll give you a little little lily cat update. All that work for that cage, they're like, we don't want it. We're just gonna let the cat roam around the house, which I think is a good thing. That's one of the things actually I like about a cat is that they're so independent. The only problem is sometimes they tear into things. I've had some interesting experiences. I, uh, I used to work aboard a yacht in the Caribbean. I used to uh, work as first mate. This yacht was uh, owned by an old guy in his 90s named Alvin Wagner. He had a slicked back hair and his face was pulled back. So many facelifts. Anyways, uh, he had a three person crew. There was me, the first mate. Then there was a captain, and then there was a stewardess. And the captain and the stewardess were actually married. I was kind of the third wheel. But it was an amazing job. One day I'll tell you some stories about working aboard a yacht. Woo, it is an awesome job. Anyways, cats. Aboard the boat, we had a boat cat. His name was Garp. Garp the cat. Very, very, very similar looking, calico style, like, like Lily. Uh, but very nice. Lived on the boat. Every so often would bring home a mouse. Sometimes we'd go in a really big storm. The boat would be doing this. And she would sit in the pilot house. The pilot house is where you drive the boat. And the boat was really big. It was like 110 foot long. Uh, it had a really big dashboard. And uh, the cat would sit in a bed on this dashboard. And then the boat would go like this. And then, and then the boat. <laughs> I mean, when we had some heavy waves, that poor cat get flung all over the place. I've actually had all number of pets, many dogs, a lot of golden retrievers. My sister, my crazy sister, actually brought home four wolf hybrid pups. They were 80% wolf. One of them lived quite some time, named Shiloh. Uh, Shiloh is no longer here, but I mean, that was a long time ago. Shiloh was the uh, Omega which means that she was kind of like the, the one in the pack that would normally get picked on. 
the alpha was crazy and my dad ended up saying hey I gotta take these things out of the wild because they're not they're not for suburban America for sure anyways I, I I'm having trouble remembering what happened to those dogs maybe my dad did drive some of them out into the forest and <laughs> drop them off anyways I've had wolves and dogs and lots of fish as you know I've had uh, snakes boa constrictors I've had a big huge iguana when I was like 13 I think I had Kirby the iguana I used to walk him around and I have him on a leash sitting on my shoulder he was six feet long tip of tail to the tip of the nose and uh, he was awesome unless he had attitude or anger issues then he was really not awesome at all so razor blades for fingers and teeth too I've had ferrets lots of ferrets I like ferrets they're curious and interesting they're kind of like cats but you can kind of like they're a little bit more portable I've had three ferrets in my life anyways I'm about to return to uh, see Annie and Eva I'm gonna wrap this one up because I got a lot to do and I want to get some sleep tonight yeah Lily has moved on like share comment subscribe and I will see you tomorrow